I don't have a problem. Yeah, yes, you do. Where were you? Where the hell were you, man? I was there. I tried to stop that wedding. You know what I mean? I'm stuck with a $200 stuffed that gorilla in my up. car that I was sure was going to do the trick. Fine. I'm glad you didn't go. Uh, so you want a drink? Well, I'd be glad to buy you a drink. I would, I'd buy any man a drink that would take a bull with Adam Chim. All right, the heck. All right, listen, Barky, give me a shot here from my friend the hero. Give me one, too. Here we go. Here's out. What the hell, right? And cheer up, William. As far as we know, as far as your sister is concerned, maybe marrying Adam is the best thing possible. Tad, you don't believe that, and how do I? No, I don't. But the way I see it, the only other option you and I have is to party naked. Party naked, yeah. That's that's the newest thing from trends set in California. I like it. What about you? You like that? Sounds great. Perfect. Listen, bartender, while we're young, okay? Well, here we go. Got it? Got it covered? Yeah. Thank you. Keep that. Here you go, ladies. Oh, well, yeah. it's about time. No. We're dying of thirst here. About no, 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 no. Uh, girls are drinking yeah, lemonade. Sorry. Boys are drinking... This. Oh, wait, this, uh, well, since when you were in my life? Uh, since today. <laughs> All right, folks. Here's the marriage. Mm -hmm. Other people's marriages. Uh, All right. I'll be right back. I'm going to go hit the jukebox. Excuse me. That was, uh... Yes, fabulous. <laughs> oh, did you hear? Oh, that's Patsy Klein. <sighs> yeah. Well, like the lady says, we are going to have ourselves one heck of an evening. Louise, are you sure? Well, okay, if you hear from him, would you please have him call me? Thanks a lot. doing up uh where's daddy oh, you ought to be in bed you know uh, that Dixie, i'm not sick now uh, where's daddy i don't know he sort of left without telling me and nobody at the office seems to know where he is but um i'm sure he just had an important appointment or something that he forgot on his wedding night well you know how he is i'm sure he'll be back very very soon dixie Dixie, I'd like us to be friends. You would. It's great, so would I. <laughs> well, that was easy. Yeah. <laughs> what made you change your mind? Well, if marrying you makes my father happy, that's all that matters. Well, I promise I'm going to try and be the very best wife that I can to your father and, and the best mother that I know how to to our child. Yes, my little brother or sister. <laughs> brother. Actually, Adam and I are absolutely positive this is going to be a boy, which is great because nobody could take the place of his little girl. I, I know that Adam just loves you so much and, and he brags about you just constantly all the time. Well, he is the most important man in my life. Well, I promise you that I'm not going to come between you and your daddy. I know that people worry a lot about other people ruining things for them. You know, at least I know that I do. Very honest, Dixie. 
Well, I, I want us to be friends. So let's be friends. <laughs> well, this, this is a pretty sight. At home. Your darling, you feeling better? Uh, much? Oh. Where have you been? I have been so worried about you. Where did you go? I got a call from the manager of one of my factories. Didn't Donald give you the message? Well, no, see, Donald's off duty. Oh, you mean he left without telling you? Oh, darling, I'm sorry. Adam, there's, um, there's champagne upstairs. Ah, later. That, oh, that reminds me. I want a, a case of the very best champagne sent to Tad Martin. He very, very well may have saved your life tonight. Isn't that sweet? Oh, hello, Karen. Hi, there's, uh, security said some reporters waiting by the front drive. Did you see them when no, you... No, 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 I came in the back. I saw it. Well, in a day or two, we will be yesterday's news. Oh, I hope so. Well, Dixie, you have a lot to get used to. Um, Brooks, lawyers. Oh, it must be the, uh, property seller. Oh, can't that wait. You just, uh, just take a quick look. So, how much is she asking? That'll be all, Karen. You want me to go? That will be all, Karen. Yes, sir. Daddy, do you want me to go, too? Well, 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 I should have seen this coming. Well, what is it? A sleazy, money-grabbing extortion. Now, Adam, Adam. Leave me alone, both of you, please. Adam, I'm your wife. If these, if these papers upset you, tell me. Let me help you. Brooke wants 50%. Half of your joint property? No, no, half of everything. And then some. But that's impossible. Uh, I have to, uh, talk to Sal Carruthers. Oh, this is going to take a while, darling. Would you wait for me upstairs, please? Oh, and... Just do this for me, Dixie. The last time I went upstairs, you disappeared. I'm not, not going to disappear. Go on, go on. I promise you. Oh. Thank you. Half of everything. That that doesn't sound like Brooke. That isn't Brooke. It's Jackson Montgomery, the sleaze bag she got to represent her. Brooke would never do this to me. Brooke doesn't hate me that much. Well, I'm glad Adam's visitor didn't keep you from coming out tonight. Oh, this is the famous country western place? Yeah. yeah. Well, I see I'm not the only person trying to move on. You want to go say hello? No, I'd rather find a table first and listen to some music. Well, follow me. All right, make sure you got a strong bridge, right? Right. The key is your object ball. So I squint my eyes. Put your eyes. Put down the shaft. You insist. And... There you go. Nice! <laughs> there you go. Yeah, but I hit the wrong ball. All right, all right. Why don't you let her learn from an expert, Tad? Huh? She is learning from an expert, William. How many hours do you think I spent in a pool hall, huh? I have no idea. Let me guess. First, Julie, <laughs> you don't want to bend at the knees. You want to you sort of slouch over the ball. Sort of slouch over the ball. Yeah, just, okay. just get real comfortable. Okay. I'm not kidding. With my money and my ideas and your knowledge and experience, how can we lose? This club is going to make history. I can't wait for the opening next week. Nico, how come you never pay attention to me? I, I heard every word you said. No, no, it's like talking to a blank wall. You hear me? Yeah, but nothing registers. They don't know how to play pool. I'm going to show them. Nico! Oh, it's done. Be Nico. right back. Oh. You want me to teach you how it's done? I uh, grew up in a pool hall. Uh-oh. It's Minnesota Kelly in the flat. Let the ace show you how to shoot. Oh, that was close, but no cigar. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Excuse me, miss. May we have another pitcher of margaritas, please? You better watch that yeah. stuff. Why is that? Those margaritas taste like lemonade, but they kick like a meal. <laughs> Make it two! <laughs> Excuse me. Mind if I cut in? That's the ladies with me beat it. Come on, Jules. Oh, that worked real well. Uh, Barky, another margarita, please. Yeah. Nice hat. I've got a lot more at home. 
Your tag gets on my nerves. I like him. Yeah, a lot of people get on my nerves. I think you might just be in a bad mood. Looks like I'm not the only one. Yeah, sure you are. No, Come I'm on. not interested. Beat it, cowboy. No. Let's get hands off my hey. wife. Who do you Come think on. you're Come on. Huh? Who do you Don't think? do that. Odds are changing. How you doing, Tom? Yeah. William? What's up? So before you boys start anything, you better ask yourself one question. Whether or not you're prepared to put up or shut up. So what's it gonna be, Gomer? Give it up, cowboy. Could have had a good time. Let's get out of this. Boys. Personally, I'm delighted they selected that option because, as you know, I detest violence. My man, Tad. Cool. <laughs> you okay? We slut. Any time. A little word of advice. If they don't have opposable thumbs, don't talk to them. Thanks, Tad. Still young. I think you better take it easy, Cad. I'm oh, fine, really. How many of those have you had? Uh, besides this, two margaritas. That's it. That's all. How you doing? I'm okay. How are you? Top of the world. I think you're a liar. Dixie meant a lot to you, didn't she? Yeah, well, you know what they say. Oh, easy come, easy go. Did you get a hold of your lawyers? Brooke wants 50%. 50% of what she knows about or 50% of everything? Very funny, Karen. I never thought of Brooke as the greedy type. Maybe she's entitled. You're not going to fight it? Why should I? You still love her. I'm married to Dixie now, and I intend to make her happy. Yes. But who's going to make you happy? She is. I feel responsible. I mean, I'm the one who found Dixie for you at Barbara's. And if I hadn't been around, then you would have never been able to marry her. You made a very hard choice, and I just want to make it easier for you. I'd like you to think of me as your friend, Adam. You've proved your friendship in many ways over these past few months. Well, I'm glad you noticed. I appreciate your support. It's been a pleasure. Although I have been thinking that with Brooke gone and a new bride in the house, maybe I should find alternative living arrangements. Leave this house? Yes, I have enough money to get my own apartment now. No, no, you're much too handy. Does that mean you want me to stay? I insist. Well, my uh, bride awaits. Good night. Did you, uh, you finish all your calls? Uh, yes, yes, I'm sorry it took so long. Uh, you all settled in? Yes, yes. Oh, I hope you don't mind. I, I brought up some of the flowers from the wedding. Dixie, you are the mistress of this house now. Oh, you can do anything you want. 
the champagne. Would you like some champagne? Oh, what do you have? Well, I'm I'm just having some cider. I'll take champagne. Great. Ooh, there you go. Certainly look pretty. To Mrs. Chandler. I can't believe you're the actually your bride. Well, um, perhaps you need some convincing. up like a nice cold glass of rum. What the hell is this? Cran apple and carrot. It's good for you. Mm. Here. What'd you do? Knock off a rabbit hutch? Okay, just shut up with me. I can't eat this. I'll tell you what, I got a better idea. What about if I pick you up in an hour, we go get some real food? Oh, like um, hamburger maybe? Hot fudge Sunday? Now you're talking. Come on, don't look like that. Look, you've been working out. You look fabulous. You could easily afford a couple calories, all right? All right. All right. How about if I go shower and I'll meet you someplace? We could do that. That's possible. Uh, yeah, or, or maybe we could have you pick me up at my house so that you can check in on Dixie. That's why I'm just curious. You know, I'm dying inside. I just want to know what's going on and how America's favorite fun couple is doing. I don't want to talk about it. I mean, did they eat together or what? Did they, did they, did they talk? Or did they just sit there and stare at the food? Or things like that. That's really creepy. And the house is so quiet. There's no joy, no laughter. Unless. It's just a waste. It's not much fun living there. Why do you? It's my home. Come on, you big girl. Got money of your own, plenty of it. Why don't you move out on your own? Why don't you? If I had the money, I would. So what's stopping you? Well, you know, these things are almost as good as they were in London. Do you realize how many of those you've eaten? Yeah, three. <laughs> Four. Four? All right, this is my last one. <laughs> and you still haven't answered my question. What question? Why don't you move out? I have my reasons. Such as? Well, for one, my release from Oak Haven was conditional on my living there. Yeah, well, that's not going to be permanent forever. My father needs me. me, Tad. And he won't admit it, but of course he does. It's not an easy relationship to explain, but I love him. Well, I don't think he deserves you. And I know he doesn't deserve your loyalty. Well, he hasn't. Now, Tad, answer me a question. Shoot. Why were you so anxious to stop the wedding? You know why? Was it to save the baby or Dixie? The baby. Come on, Sky. Don't do that. Dixie and I are friends. Okay, I admit it. There was a time when it might have amounted to more, but she made a choice. That's all there is to it. And you're not pining away? No, I'm not pining away. 
Well, okay, then, since neither of us is seeing anybody, why don't you take me to the opening of Kelly's? Nico's new place. Sounds like a great idea. Okay, I'd love to go. Let's do it. You know something? What? I think that lightning bolt may have knocked some sense into your head. Thanks a lot. Maybe it'll work for your father. Excuse me? Yeah, think about it. Next time there's a thunderstorm, we just wheel him out under a tree. 